Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create multiple folders on a just single click. It takes less than one second to create hundreds of folders. I'll show you the example here. In this sheet, I have the parent path of one of my folder. You can see here and I have the employee list here. So what I want to do, I want to create the employee wise folder inside this parent folder i'll show you this folder also i have this folder here you can see this is an empty folder so if i will click on create folder it will take less than a second you can see here folder created till the end so i have the list of 100 employees and it took less than a second to creating the folder now I'll show you that folder. You can see for each employee, the folder is available till employee. This is quite useful. Many times when you are creating an automation, you may require to create a folder inside a parent folder. It can be sometime one folder or it can be multiple folder. I'll tell you in this video, how can you create these multiple folders? So let's start. I'm going to developer tab and visual basic you can press alt f Levin also now here I will insert a module and I will create a subroutine create multiple folder and here first of all I'll take worksheet dim sh as worksheet and then I will set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and it was seat one i'll take another variable for integer so dim i as integer i will use a loop here so i'll take for i equal to four to the last employee row to get the last employee row i'll show you here in the worksheet you can see our first employee name is on row number four of the column number a and we will get the last name of the employee dynamically here i'll put ss dot range and then a n application rows dot count then end and here we will take the direction as excel R. many times few of my friends comments me this code is not working they were using x1 up this is not one this is l excel up so whenever you will put this start bracket you will get the list of properties you can select from there also then i'll use row so it will give me the last row here i will use next type so we are running a loop from row number four to the last whatever we will get and here what we will do we will create folder so i'll put a code here that is make directory mkdir and here i have to give the path of the subfolder so what i will do here before giving the path i'll take another variable that is dim subfolder path as string now i will assign the subfolder path and that will be i know my parent folder is on c1 you can see here and then rest we can take from column a so first of all i'll take ss dot range c1 dot value and then you can put a slash sign like this or you can use application dot path separator and then we will take ss dot from column a the subfolder name which is a and i dot value put this subfolder inside this make directory now it will work i'll show you how it will work so let me insert another button here you can take any design from here right click assign macro this is the macro which we are creating create multiple folder assign and now what i will do i will delete folders first then i will remove this status column value if i will click it is created it has not put the status here but if you will see the folder the employee name information is available so we can delete this so what we will do we will write a code to put the status here so once it will create this folder it will put the value on ss.range b and i dot value that 
will be something folder created now i'll show you if i will click create folder then it will give you the status as folder create and you can see here folder but friends one thing i would like to tell you if somebody will click again then it will give you some error so what we will do before creating the folder we will check whether this folder is already exist or no so in my last video i have explained how can you check the folder existence whether it is available inside that folder or not now i'll show you that function this was the function which i have created folder existence then i have used the directory method to check the folder existence we will use the similar method here either we can call that function or we can use simple if function so after assigning the value to subfolder path we will use a condition if dir and then we will give our folder path which is this subfolder path and then we will check it as pv directory if this value will return blank that means this folder is not available so then it will execute this code else here we will put another condition and that will be simple it will update the status as folder already available okay so now i'll show you let me delete this and then if i will click it is giving me folder already available because all the folders are available already now what i will do i'll go to the folder and i will delete some folders from here employee 1 to 10 just delete these folders and now if we will run it again it has created the folder from employee 1 to 10 and for rest employee it is giving folder already available so friends that is how you can create multiple folders on single click i hope you have enjoyed this video this can be useful method please practice this and use this thanks for watching